just used a massive mug instead of a small piddly glass. Breakfast is completed. Oh look, can you remember that slide? Alex decided to go down that slide last night. Funny thing about it is though, he asked me to record him on Boomerang. And uh, I fluffed it up about two times, so you ended up going down it three times, didn't you? <laughs> and then woman from reception <coughs> the hotel watching me. Yeah, receptionist from the hotel were giggling her tits off. <laughs> Watching him go down it three times on a kid's slide. Made it. Oh, look who I found. I'm sure he won't mind me here. Uh... Here he is. All right, how are we doing? doing? How are you? And I'm bad. Good. Sorry, I've just got your message. All right, yes. Um, I was uh, time lapsing in the car. What was I, it? A shit. Uh, on the floor. On the floor. The shower. Repping <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hard. Yeah. Old school as well. That is old school. Repping hard. Yeah. Repping hard, hard. So you can get you. Where is he? <laughs> Car's gonna go today. Lad, how are we doing, mate? You alright? Don't know who that is. Yeah, yeah, that's what you want to do. That'll be alright if I'm walking around here. You didn't know about the car. Yeah. Come on, what's your name? Yeah. Are you doing alright? Queen! Have you broken down yet? No, not yet. Oh, doing well. I mean, what the fuck? Fucking micro handbraking round corners and just all around being an absolute mince. <laughs> you've literally got both ends of the scale. You've got nice stand, standard show sort of field. Car's just chilled out. Real mellow vibe over there. Literally over the fence, you've got this ruckus. I mean, look at the state of the cars. <laughs> Absolutely. 100% just covered in dust. And you can hear in the distance a nice mellow sound of a VTEC kicking in, yo. state of people's cars is absolute joke just because people's drifting wheel spinning on here and sending it oh king lewis is s2k couldn't get the wheels on i guess then it's a shame me either 
people just banging signs out all around campsite. Do a skid, do a burnout. It's working. <laughs> Henry's just sorted me out with a t-shirt. Yeah, sorted me out with a t-shirt. Um, I can actually show you the back of this one without acting like a twat. Um, pretty cool. But he's got loads of stuff on at the minute. He's got a really good range as Henry. He's always got decent stuff in. It's always double printed as well, so you've got a nice crest on the front. And then um, cool print on the back. Does a lot of collabs as well. Uh, there's one there with Maguire's. Henry, at the end of September, has got more collabs coming out, and they're going to be available at Players North Weald. Famous well chilled as well. That's that's how business Henry is chilled. You don't even need to try. The business just comes. Is that right? He's like, yeah. yeah. There's my favourite people on earth. So if you ever need cleaning gear, I'm gonna invade the shop now. Um, Oh, okay, that's not going up. Alright, so if you ever need cleaning gear, this is the place to come. Look at all this. So I've got detail spray, which I use religiously. Absolutely amazing. Um, and you can get, obviously, the bottles and top-ups, and then even just get the big... Are these five litres? Yeah. Big five-litre bottles as well, so... And then everything else. Snow foam, wheel cleaner, all-purpose cleaner. What's the newest stuff there? Newest is the all-in-one and citrus tower, maybe that's the badger. And this smells mint. And now hoodies. So Vic was uh, telling me about this one, this one's going to be for the girls, but in all fairness, I think that colour. I mean, I'd wear that. That's a good colour. Uh, we've got the black and the khaki green as well. But then also the deal with wheel horse stuff, so... All the clothing. You sure you don't want it? Yeah, go on then. Thank you. It is laced with sedatives. Is it? Yeah. What sedatives is in it? We're yeah. hypnol. We're hypnol. Alright. Do a night the four of us will never forget. Alex has to clean his car down because it's full of <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Get away from it. Who done? Who done that? You. I didn't touch it. Oh, <laughs> Stealing car since 2018. Buy a car alarm. Alex has to clean his car down because it's full of dust. Because some knobheads keep doing fucking donuts in car park and ruining my fucking paint. So well, I went over to the campsite and it was full of Jap burnout and donuts and I nearly got my toes clipped here. <laughs> It's getting busy, lot. Busy. busy things. Belting sun. Hi, how are you guys? My name's Sam. <laughs> what you got there? Microfiber. Yeah, you know, ginger skin, ginger skin, and a non-ginger. Are you suffering? It burns very easy. I went to about nine layers of sun sun cream, and it's still burning. You're doing well. Yeah. You're alive still, that's the main thing. Exactly, yeah. Are you coming up on stage with us? Uh, might, might join you, might join you. I have currently got sun cream in my eye though, so it's it's pretty bad. 
Yeah. We're going to go on stage with uh, Tony's S4. And I think I'm interviewing him, so that'll be fun again. Dragging me through the shit on stage. <laughs> Literally got handed the mic yesterday and he was like, here, yeah, do this interview. I was like, cool. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Get these out of the room. Thanks. Thanks, Marcus. Well, it's a bit of a pinch of moment really to put a car like this. Ooh, shiny. On the stage here at Edition 38. Uh, this is uh, an X race car with two championships under its belt in the UK and Volkswagen. Now, then, everyone, so we've got uh, Tony's S4 up on stage now. Um, just to chat a bit about it. So, how long have you had it, mate? Uh, I've had the car now for about 13 years, just completely standard S4 when I bought it. As you can see, it's gone through quite a bit of a change. Yeah, so uh, let's start with the bodywork then, because it's not your average S4 body, is it? So it's been wide arched. Do you want to go a bit about that? Okay, so it's basically uh, RS4 wings, bumper, solid skirts, doors. Then you made the, the B5 in the van, so they were van to make water panels cut and made to fit. So a van lowered doors uh, with the snow tops. And just a stretch rear bumper. I weren't really keen on the RS4 bumper on it. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. So, a bit about the process then, because I'm guessing that all the front stuff was quite bolt on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the... About the rear stuff. So, what, what, tell us a bit about the rear quarter then, because I'm guessing that's, that's where the work was involved. Yeah, there's quite a bit of work involved in that. I must admit, I can weld, but not to trust myself doing that. So, I actually did get someone else. Everything that's bolt on. I've done, I have a little bit of help from Sam. Um, the welding, the paint is pretty much the only thing I haven't done on the car. Everything else has just been labour of love. A couple of years to do the wide body conversion. Nice, nice. So is there anything engine wise that you've done to it or is that completely standard at the moment as well? Uh, no, it's, I've got different downpipes, different exhaust. Uh, I've got a front mounted intercooler which one of my other family friends done custom lower tanks to so we didn't have to cut the front bumper too much uh, and retain the headlight washers. Uh, it's got a map on it, it's running about 340 brake, so it's not huge power, but it's nice and punchy, it's a nice and fun car. Nice, I've just noticed as well, so uh, you've actually got cut out on the number plate, so yeah. tell, tell us a bit about that then. Okay, so obviously our friends, the police, like us to have number plates on the front, so <laughs> just to get a little bit more air through, we just, I just cut the letters out and it's on too fast and so it can pop off and we can tuck it in the windscreen and get a little bit more air to let it in the cooler every now and then. It's definitely a cool idea, like you say, if the police are, uh, are heavy on, on number plates being on the front of the cars, definitely, yeah. And it'll just, yeah. Yeah, so there you go, you've got straight straight air feed right there, haven't you? That's, uh, hey, that's an awesome idea, that. It's, it's, it's one of them things that not everybody sees straight away and you see them like second take and then sit there poking their fingers through it. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, wheels then, so you're running the, right, is it Inspiree? Inspiree? Someone will tell me. I'd Inspiri. say Inspiree, but... Inspiri. What is it? Inspiree. Inspiree, yeah. Inspiri. Yeah. So, uh, a nine and a half by 19 ISR8. Just, just quite a nice compliment for the, when it's, when it's aired. With a couple of the wheels, it just makes it look a little bit more wider. I'm trying to keep that sort of OEM plus look. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely working. I mean, like I said, with the wide arch as well, the air just suits it completely down to the ground as well. I love it. Absolutely amazing. Is there any more future plans for it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, certainly, like, I'd like to put pole positions in it, yellow backs, still, you know, at the crush sort of thing. Um, started a little bit with the interior with that, with the steering wheel with the TTRS flat bottom of the custom carbon centre. But I don't think I'll ever stop playing with it. I've had it this long, I just don't think I can get rid of it. And I if I did, I don't know what I'd buy next anyway. No, no, it's an awesome car, mate. And uh, yeah, no, cheers for bringing it up. Did you want to uh, put me spin on there and see what we can win on Maguire's? You missed my brakes. You missed your brakes? Oh, yeah, your brakes. Yeah. yeah, let's go for brakes, yeah. So you've, um, yeah, tell us a bit about the brakes. You know? If you have a look closely as well, what is actually written on the brakes, I'm not going to interview it, <laughs> is, uh, it's, yeah, well, you, you tell them. Okay, so, everybody's done Brembo, everybody's done, not this, any problem. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just, got just shots wore, fired. I just wanted something a bit different, and unfortunately with the wheels you can't fully read it, but I can't afford ceramics. 
uh, and they're metal, so it says Audi Metallic. Yeah. Just to, just to be a little play on words. A lot of people probably wouldn't even notice or even sort of see it, and, but the odd few would, and it hopefully make them chuckle. Uh, rather than using ML brakes, where everyone seems to do, I just used me the B5 RS4 disc, had them machined down, had them grooved, and just try and keep that sort of Bowie look. Because we've still got the actual Audi brake on the uh, on the disc as well, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, they're, it's running B5 RS4 front and rear brakes. Um, it's just the front calipers just never really looked that good. So obviously with the 18Zs, I wanted to sort of retain the match from the front to the rear. So yeah, the machine down to 350 mil, uh, and have them grooved. Yeah, that no, looks cool. Especially with the wheels as well, because that really opens it up, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Seat, so. yeah definitely take a, take a look at Tony's car later on if you're around. Uh, usually cats are on the back out here. Yeah, yeah, yes. That was a bit late coming in today. Cool. So, I'm enjoying the show so far? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's my first time to edition. Yeah, no, you, did a, a, you did early edition. Did early, yeah. yeah. And then this is your first full edition as well, isn't it? My first full edition, yeah. Coming back next year? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah so, it's been good. I'll make sure I'm a bit earlier next month. Yeah, definitely. Do the full weekend next year as well. That yeah, sounds good. Yeah, cool. Nice one. Well, cheers for bringing it on, Carl. Uh, uh, cheers, Jack. Yeah, just uh, give her a quick uh, spin. Let's see what we get. This hasn't been absolutely well with the fans before you can at least find it up here. <laughs> Car care kit. That's the big one, isn't it? It's the big one. Oh, look at that happy head. days. Just here. Box number one, isn't it? Look at that, Paul. There you go. Thanks, sir. It weren't too bad coming up here, was it? Paul, thank you very much. Nice cool, one. cheers. Thanks, guys. Oh, yeah, let's give him a round of applause. And me as well, because it's absolutely petrifying coming up here. There you go. He's got the chat list for you. <laughs> <laughs> With that northern accent as well. Up the northern. Yeah, he's in the watchtower today. You are. Up the northern. I can't understand you, mate. <laughs> yeah. I took some. I took some. Oh, oh Jack. He's trying to take over, isn't he, this boy? Check the lad. There he is. Look. Go follow Jack. Huh? Jack Low Social. As those are, we're off at some food and to uh, chill. We're not doing the beige mat one tonight too much. We've been in the sun all weekend. We're absolutely hanging out with our backsides, just purely from the sun, not even from drinking. And when's the beige getting done? We're doing it tomorrow. Yeah, drop it off tomorrow. Get it sorted then. And all done. Cool. Can you hold that whilst I sign out? That's me signing out. Peace. Cause aside from my soul